Hi, I'm Nate Rayburn, uh, Cyber Hammers. Just giving you guys a quick uh, how-to video, instructional on how to disassemble the uh, the mechanism in the Cyber Hammer and uh, lubricate it if it needs to be done. This is in specific um, uh, regards to the recent pre-orders that went out. We've uh, we've received some reports that. Uh, some of these guys had a little more lubricant than they needed so it's been being mechanically forced out of the mechanism and out of the tuner's hand. Uh, the lubricant is not an issue as far as creeping onto the tuning pin and into the pin block here. It is, it's almost a solid. It's what's called a molly 60 grease which means that it's 60% uh, molly molybdenum powder and uh, only about 40% actual high quality grease and it's uh, white lithium grease which is the same thing we've been recommending on uh, on the 200 series for a long time. So I'm going to show you how, how to take uh, the 500 series and the 200 series apart. They're basically the same and put them back together without having any problems. So let's start with the 200 series over here. This is with the stainless steel and I'm going to be using what's called a dental pick. Um, if you don't have one of these, you need to pick some up. They're available at a local hardware store. It's a tool you should have anyways. But I like to use the, the dental pick and a uh, uh, toothpick with the, the pointy tip chopped off. Place it on a pin block if you can. That makes it a lot easier for you. So just put the, um, uh, the toothpick on one side to grab the clip and move your, uh, your dental pick just under here and push straight straight off. You don't need a huge amount of force but um, there you go. Just work it straight off and then pull it out. Now you can fling that clip across the room if you don't have your finger there, there on the other side so just make sure that that's uh, there as well. So here's the grease. Um, also note that the 200 series has a small bearing in there or uh, a spacer really uh, just don't lose that. If if your uh, if your hammer is forcing grease out on your hands, just remove the extension. That's this piece here. Paper towel. Work it off. Put it back in. Make sure this bearing is seated. You shouldn't need to clean out the bore of the head, so um, that should be more than enough. Same thing with the 500. Just be a little more careful with this guy. It, uh, it is anodized aluminum. It's not a super hard anodizing, so it can be scratched, but uh, just keep that in mind. Also the clip is shaped, so you don't have quite as much to grip onto, but it still shouldn't be a problem. Try it at different rotations if it doesn't come off easier on one side. Usually, if we can work the clip over to one side, that works better. There it comes. So just push on these edges of the clip. Push, push. So you've got the front bronze bearing on this guy. And the back bronze bearing as well. Clean off the excess paste if there is any. And once more this should only need to be done once, if at all. Push it back on. There. There's a little bit of a lip right here. So if you uh, can take the clip off 
force it off this way. You don't have to deal with that lip as much. And that's all there is to it.